Hi, this is Eli here, and I'm at the Slate booth with Matt Dodge, and we're going to get up and close and personal with the Logic Raven. So, Matt, I'm going to hand it over to you if you can tell us about it and show it to us. Awesome. Yep, I'm Matt Dodge. I'm with Slate Media Technology and Slate Digital. This is the Raven MTI 2. We're showing Logic Pro X for you guys. However, it is available for Pro Tools, Logic Pro X, Ableton Live, Digital Performer, Studio One version 3. And I must be missing one, but I, I think I forgot it. So, uh, we have our multi-touch faders here, five millisecond response rate. You don't have to keep your on finger on the virtual fader. Once you access control, you can move your finger and still maintain control. And then grab multiple faders from across the screen and control those independently as well. Um, one powerful feature of the Raven software, um, specifically on the virtual fader, is called Find Fader Mode. Fine faders quadruples the resolution of the fader response. So now, unlike a, a hardware fader, I have a much more controlled resolution of the fader. And what's really cool about it is if I push and hold the fine faders button, I can adjust the speed response between 1 and 20 at a variable speed. So it gives you a lot more control on your tracks. Um, another amazing thing with touch on a control surface is being able to now adjust your plugins like it was actually actual hardware gear. For instance, in this scenario, I'll open up uh, one of the Logic EQs and just reach out and intuitively tweak my plugin. Just you know, add a little bit of uh, you know top end there, take out a little bit here. It's very intuitive. You can even uh, you know adjust by the variables here and the different independent windows. All plugins are modifiable with Touch. Um, there's no limitation. There. What so about calling up different plugins? Absolutely. Uh, like adding up different. Yeah, so you can just reach out and uh, go to an insert rack and, you know, load something up. So I could just tap uh, my virtual tape machines, load that up and make an adjustment and close it really quickly with a touch button. You know, I can pull up uh, this reverb Does the link here. mode work here where you can have one, one plug in overtake the other and have just one open? Yeah, absolutely. Time? Yeah, it's, it, because at the end of the day, this is logic. So everything that works in your DAW is going to work exactly how it worked before. Right. Uh, so, yeah, for instance, if I wanted to overtake... You know, I just set that up, um, those two linked, and uh, close that, close that. All good to go. Uh, moving to the arrange window, using two fingers anywhere on the screen, you can scroll up, down, left, and right. I can use buttons to uh, increase the size, decrease the size. I can reach out uh, and select a region here, and then I can break it using the top tool. Right. I can even reach up and uh, you know grab this uh, little section here and move this over here, something like that. Uh, let's increase it a little more. I'm gonna make a, add a fade here on the corner just by reaching up to the top corner and adding in a fade really easy. And then I can even modify that fade by using the top section region. Can you copy, and rather than just drag, can you copy? Oh yeah, definitely. So we have a, a multitude of touch tools. On the customized toolbar, you'll see a, a bunch of different touch tools, a few of which being your cut, copy, paste, and right. delete here. Um, all these buttons are uh, assigned from their various menus, uh, key commands, and uh, mouse clicks to be able to perform really anything that your mind could come up with. So that being said, you can definitely copy and paste with uh, touch buttons. You can also use your mouse and keyboard. We don't take any functionality away. We just provide you with the option of touch in certain scenarios. Uh, one of the most powerful features to the Raven software is called the Batch Command System. You see me pushing some of these multicolored buttons here a couple times. These buttons have the capacity to execute up to 1,000 key commands, menu selections, and mouse clicks in each independent button. So, you know, for instance, I've been zooming in, zooming out, accessing different tools, closing windows with single buttons. Let's, uh, let's just go ahead and use a couple of these here. I'll hit my new audio track a couple times and instantly create a new audio track, right? So I just use my batch command to create a couple new tracks. Let's name these top four here. Let's name those chorus vocals top, um, one through four. I hit my chorus vocals one through four and automatically just name straight down the line. Now that's cool. Some other cool ones are even just like, you know, quickly color coding things. Uh, and you can edit session. these batch commands? Absolutely, yes. Uh, let me show you that after this one, uh, one more batch command. So. Uh, I'm going to pull up my floating toolbar, which you can also populate to cons uh, conserve real estate. You can populate with your touch tools here and customize any format you want. But I'm going to take these selected here and I'm going to change them to yellow. With the, with the touch button, I can, you know, convert them to red, convert them to orange. 
know, convert them to purple, convert them to pink, whatever I want. Beautiful. And, you know, back to red, whatever I want. Um, so, yes, customizing. You just press and hold the batch command and it opens up the programming interface. Nice. Um, I can either stack a series of key commands by hitting key command and entering in a key command and then hitting key command again to create a stack macro of uh, key commands. Otherwise, we have uh, created something called the quick list in our software, which is a group of preset uh, preset quick list items that allow you to do a lot of cool things in audio specific to logic that we've made for you. They're like mini macros. Exactly, mini rap macros. The, la the last functionality of uh, next year, um, the, uh, the last functionality of the batch command system is this record button. Mm -hmm. When you hit record, you can actually program a sequence. So I could go up to my you know, mix window here and hit show automation. Unrecord this, save it as automation, and now I'm just gonna add that to my button. Give my button a name, color code it, and now when I push this button, it's gonna automatically run that recorded mouse click, menu selection, anything I want. Beautiful. Cool. Matt, thanks a lot. Yeah, no problem. Nice to meet you guys. Logic Raven, Zilak Ramsburg. Thanks.